this tutorial, I am going to share with you how to make your hands look younger and healthier and reduce wrinkles. Of course, I must mention that a 60-year-old hand is not going to look as young as a 20-year-old. Would you agree? Our hands, no matter how old you are, suffer from the loss of elasticity and aging. It happens because they're exposed to photoaging, the UVR, the sun, and also the daily aggressions by using dish soaps, harsh soaps, cleansers, and overwashing our hands and using daily disinfectants. Most of common wrinkles and reduction of elasticity and thickness and oh, sorry, age spots will show the age of that person. Did you know that most men and women do not know how to slow down this process? So let's get started right now. Very quickly, let me introduce myself. This is Maria from Vancouver, Canada. I have so much to share with you and I would love to thank to all my subscribers for being here with me. If this is your first time, Hopefully you will enjoy my content and you'll decide to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and get that bell going. So the first thing I want to do before I'm going to show you any treatment, I would love to tell you that you have to take care of your skin by not using harsh products. Certain products are essential. So I use uh, products that have, that first of all are 99% biodegradable and also that it has no formaldehyde, no parabens, nothing that will hurt my environment and of course uh, the world. So that's one of the first thing that I do. Uh, to clean, I use a product called El Solumel. You don't have to buy this product. If you want to know more about it, let me know. But. Uh, Products like this, again, 99% biodegradable. Uh, products that has no chlorine bleach, no ammonia, no formaldehyde. As a disinfectants, this one here, it's made up of citric acid and thymol, which comes a component of thyme oil, and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, and it's natural. So we can use natural products to protect our world and our family. Okay, so this I am sure that you will have in your kitchen. Here what I have is organic raw sugar and in sugar we find a an, an ingredient called glycolic acid. And glycolic acid, what it does, it helps the desquamation of the skin it means it helps to peel off and in here well this is olive oil and uh, the olive oil is high in antioxidants and uh, fatty acid and it stimulates the collagen of uh, the skin this plus warm olive oil this is virgin olive oil with few drops so this is a teaspoon of sugar a teaspoon of olive oil and a couple of drops of of course uh, organic lavender and I mix them together and I make myself a nice scrub. Organic, raw organic sugar with warm olive oil okay. and of course I want to mix these together nice. The lavender is an essential oil so it's not a good idea to put lavender right onto your skin because it might cause irritation. But the lavender itself is amazing to treat wrinkles. It is uh, an antioxidant and also helps from the harmful free radicals uh, from the UVR. So you mix it nicely together. When I do this uh, treatment, of course it gets a little bit messy. So I like to go like I in, in a tub and I start gently massaging. And this is also very good for your feet your calluses and this is enough for both hands and both feet. So I uh, did about five minutes on my hands and five minutes on my feet. It feels amazing. So the next step it's an aloe treatment and uh, 
aloe vera plant has a very uh, healing properties and uh, I have a plant in my kitchen just in case I burn myself and you just grab it and take out some of the gel and you put on the burn it's amazing what it just open it up like this and it has like a gel inside okay. and this is live ingredient it has 18 essential amino acids uh, high in uh, so I'm going to just squeeze it out high see that little like a gel yes high in vitamin A vitamin C anti-inflammatory and uh, it helps to repair the skin uh, it also retains the moisture of your skin it's a, it contains polysaccharides and what it does is stimulates the regeneration of the skin what I like to add is a pinch a pinch of organic turmeric what the turmeric does it lightens the uh, it's very regenerative first of all but also lightens uh, the age spots or any hyperpigmentation okay there you go so now that it's all nicely mixed together I just like to uh, get a little bit put it right on my hands when I treat my hands I don't just stop in my hands I always like to work also on my forearm but for the sake of this video I'm just going to be doing my hands so put it here now remember this stains everything that touches like that and uh, Uh, remember stains everything and uh, now leave it on for about 10 minutes so my hands they feel very soft and that is a treatment that you can do two or three times a week and it keeps your hands nice and soft However, if you want to have more results uh, on your skin, you could do other treatments. And uh, one that I find it amazing is uh, microneedling. I like to use the one millimeter or the 0.75 uh, disinfectant needle. So they're tiny little needles. And right now my skin is already done. There's nothing else I want to do. But you would do microneedling on your on your hands how often well if you use the one millimeter I would say once a month and you would do it uh, on your hands on your forearm you can do it on your face I do have a tutorial on this so, amazing treatment and what this does basically stimulates the uh, fibers in the skin stimulates the cells basically that reproduces that regenerates uh, the fibers. I don't want to go away without telling you the benefits of the radio frequency. There's a lot of little machines out there and what the radio frequency does it stimulates the fibroblast in the skin so it strengthens and it thickens uh, the skin so that's amazing. I do have three tutorials that will explain the treatment on the face, the neck and also the mistakes that people do uh, with the radio frequency. Uh, it's a cute little machine that you can take it anywhere. So anyways, just look at it and uh, if you have any questions, do look at those uh, tutorials that I have done previously. So after you do all these treatments, the scrubbing and the nourishing and all that, you must apply a very good moisturizer that you know that will protect your skin. The product that I'm using here is what I use because I know that these are good, NRF2, and you don't use much of it. So I usually put a, a pump, that's it, a pump of the moisturizer and a few drops of uh, the perfecting lotion, just a couple of drops, there we go, not more. And uh, what this does, if you can see that, this will be enough for my whole face. But right now, I'm going to be applying on my hands. So whatever I do for my face, I will do for my hands. Neck and décolleté. 
Rose hip is very high in vitamin C. So what I do, I apply a couple of drops on my face and at the same time, I will massage my hands, forearm, my neck and décolleté. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope so. And that you have learned a lot on how to take care of your skin and your hands. Hopefully, if you have any questions, please jot them down below. If you have any ways that you know to rejuvenate the skin, do share them with me. Again, this is Maria, and I will talk with you very, very soon.